What's up geeks this is me Samir and welcome back to Geekify and in today's video we will gonna deep load your android Phone. Many Chinese smartphone manufacturers offer some amazing specs at some amazing price points but at the cost of user interface and bloatware. And some of them are system apps which cannot be deleted and that's when I come to the rescue. So we are gonna make your Android phone fast AF by deleting some bloatware regardless it could be system app or not we are gonna delete it and my friends you don't need to be rooted and that's the best part about this method make sure you watch this video till the end because i don't want you to miss out on any crucial step so without wasting any time let's start today's video so before moving forward there is a prerequisite which i think you need to know and that is we will gonna download two specific apps first is Shizuku and other one is Kanta. Kanta is used to delete all the bloatware present on your Android phone and Shizuku is used to give ADB permissions to Kanta app because of which that app has capability to delete system apps. And let me clear one more thing. Using Kanta will not break your Android device so feel safe, feel free using this particular method. Now let's start with it. So first and foremost thing and that is you can download Shizuku from directly play store but Kanta app is not available there as of now. But I will give you the link of the app in the description so you can download it from this github page. I've already downloaded it. Let me download it once more for you guys and here we go and it will start download as you can see. So once you have installed both the apps Kanta and Shizuku first we need to set up Shizuku app and first thing we need to pair this app with our Wi-Fi to enable ADB debugging and to do that we'll tap on pair and uh, go to developer options and as you can see my developer options are already enabled if it is not enabled you can go into the settings scroll down go into about phone scroll down till the end tap on build number quite a few times and as you can see the prompt says no need you are already a developer because my developer options are already enabled so you need to go into the system and scroll down and there will be developer options you can tap on it now again scroll down till you find wireless debugging option make sure that you enable usb debugging as well and also enable wireless debugging allow on this network and allow now select this option and now you need to pair the device with a pairing code tap on it and this is our code and we need to enter over here and our shizuku app has been successfully paired now you need to go again into the shizuku app and start it and it will take some time to load up and the service has been started now you need to open kanta app here you go and it will ask some permission if you are booting this app for the first time just allow each and every permissions now as you can see there are multiple apps available but what if you want to filter these apps to system apps well you have to tap on three dot button and from here check only system and as you can see only system apps are available and let me go over here and for example i want to delete calculator for that let's try the default method and search for calculator over here here we go app info we can only disable but we cannot delete this particular app so from here in the canta select this app and tap on delete okay allow all the time and as you can see our calculator app has been gone we cannot access calculator as that app has been deleted let's go once more in the canta app and this time let's delete files by google tap over here and delete it now if i just go over here and search for files no app is installed with the name of file so it's that simple using this trick you can delete every bloat present in your android phone and you can make your android experience better by deleting all those unwanted apps and if you have deleted some apps by mistake well my friend you can bring them back like this and let me show you how you can do that so again first you need to open kanta app now there will be this deleted tab select on it and as you can see there are these two apps we have recently deleted you can check them and tap on reinstall now let me search for calculator as you can see our calculator app is right there and let's search for files 
and our files app has been reinstalled as well so using this method you can delete all the bloat present on your android phone and you can speed it up also you don't have to worry about if you delete an app by mistake because it is quite simple to bring that specific app back so you have the freedom to experiment with the bloat which one you need which one you don't want you can do that according to your preferences and if you face any kind of problem regarding deleting your bloat on android phone please do let me know in the comment section also if i have helped you and if you like this video or if you have already been user of kanta app do like this video so that algorithm knows that we have been doing good work so that it pushes this video to all the people out there who needs to uninstall bloat from their android phone and also while you are down there make sure you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing content like this and on this note this is me sameer signing off i will see you in the next one Till then, Tada! See ya. Bye bye.